Iowa basketball fans have always loved Luca Garza, perhaps never more than right now, as the reigning Big Ten Player of the Year announces he will return for his senior season. So, Luca, let's start with the most simple but most important question. Why? I, I love this place too much to leave it. I think that's, you know, very simple itself. You know, I want to, you know, come back. I want to make history. You know, I, I love all my teammates and coaches, and I feel like I would have regretted it if I didn't come back. Uh, to give us one more chance at, at, at winning some championships. And, you know, that's very important to me. And this would be, you know, the best team I've ever been a part of. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm excited. How much did the potential of this Iowa team with so many scores returning factor into this decision for you? You know, that ultimately that's what did it. You know, for me, I think, like I said, I would have regretted it if I wasn't a part of this team and didn't get to see you know, what we could do, you know, as a group. And so, you know, that's what did it for me. I obviously had opportunities in the NBA. I feel strongly if I left my name and I would have been drafted and, and have been on an NBA team next year. But for me, I feel like that could wait a year um, in terms of you know, what we could do this year and, and how much I would remember that for the rest of my life. And I think in the end, that'll help me in, in my NBA career even more by coming back and, and growing as a player and, and boosting my stock a little bit more. You scored nearly 24 points a game last year. You grabbed nearly 10 rebounds. You're a consensus All-American, the Big Ten Player of the Year. Yet you said when you announced you would return that you feel as if you still have something to prove. What do you have left to prove? You know, I'm always a hypercritical guy, and I always analyze my game. You know, I look at last year, and I see a lot of things I could have done better. You know, I could have shot the free throws better. I could have shot from a three better. And, and just overall efficiency, and, and definitely on the defensive end, I think I could improve a lot. So for me, there's a lot to prove. You know, I, I think there's a lot of things, especially winning-wise. I think for our team, we can be one of the best teams in the nation and make history in terms of championships and bring, you know, bringing championships back to Iowa City. So I think there's a lot left for me in my career to prove um, at the University of Iowa. Luca, it's been a crazy four or five months for everybody, but for you, a bunch of moving targets to deal with. The NBA draft itself, the withdrawal date as well. How much did you vacillate over the past – couple of months in making this decision or did you always lean toward returning for your senior year you know I, I was you know back and forth a little bit but I was always kind of leaning towards coming back you know I think when the spike happened in the U.S. in, in, in terms of COVID um, I think that you know that's kind of where I struggled for a couple of weeks in terms of you know if I were to come back would there be a season and I feel like you know I talked to coach and, and I had the conversation I needed to have obviously with Mr. Barta our, our athletic director as well I think Everyone was very, felt very confident that there will be a season of some sort. And, you know, for me, you know, once I had those conversations, it settled me down and, and made me really analyze this. And, you know, I couldn't make a decision, you know, with uncertainty or unknown. Because if I would have made a decision based on, you know, me thinking there's not going to be a season, you know, I would have regretted it, you know, watching my team play next year. We found out your decision officially a little after noon on Sunday Central Time. When did you inform Coach McCaffrey and your teammates, and how would you describe their reactions? You know, it was a lot of fun. You know, I told Coach McCaffrey uh, Friday night, um, and, you know, I called him, and, you know, it felt very reminiscent of when I, I called him to commit to the University of Iowa, and it was a very, very special moment for me, um, and, and it was a lot of fun, and he was very excited and, and happy for me, and, and the best part was I knew he would have been happy for me either way, and that's the same, same way it goes for my teammates. I told um, you know, my roommates, I told them last night, um, and, and that was a lot of fun. And I have four roommates that are all on the team, so that was a lot of fun. And then this morning, um, about an hour before I announced, we had a, a team meeting on Zoom. Um, obviously, we're all in quarantine, so we couldn't be together. Um, but, you know, I told the rest of the guys, and everyone's excited, and especially during this time, it was some good news and, and, and hopefully boosted everybody's spirits. So it, it was a lot of fun. You did mention the NBA future that eventually awaits you when you're done with your eligibility. What type of feedback did you get from the NBA teams you spoke with? You know, I got a lot of great feedback. You know, a, a lot of teams, um, you know, obviously think that I can improve a lot in terms of lateral quickness and defending ball strings and other stuff. But a lot of teams also want to see me, you know, create more off the dribble, play make, and be able to pass better out of double teams and different stuff like that, as well as continue to shoot it better um, and, and shoot it from distance more. Um, and I think, you know, the biggest thing I got from that was, you know, all the teams I talked to thought that I would be an NBA player for a long time. And that's something that was comforting me, especially when you hear all the outside noise about people thinking that, you know, I'm not an NBA player or I made this decision because I couldn't make it in the NBA. And, you know, that's not the case. You know, I had an opportunity to play in the NBA next year. But for me, um, you know, that wasn't enough to take me away from, you know, finishing my career at the University of Iowa. 
All right, and let's finish with this. You will finish that career inside an absolutely stacked league because a day or two before you announced you would return, Io DeSumo of Illinois, his teammate Kofi Coburn, also announcing that they will return. How good could the Big Ten potentially be for your final go-around in Iowa City? Again, I think it's going to be the third straight year where, you know, the best league in the country. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially, you know, Illinois, and they're a very stacked team. But I think there's a lot of teams that are going to be really, really good next year. And it's, it's exciting. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to match up against those guys. And, you know, for me, I always love playing in, in, against the best. And that's why I came to the Big Ten in the first place. So I'm excited. And, you know, hopefully we can, you know, win a championship. Well, Luca, we are excited to welcome you back to the Big Ten for your senior season. Can't wait to see you out there on the court. I know that you are probably relieved that this day has now come and gone. Congratulations on the decision, and we'll catch up again soon. Yeah, for sure. Thank you.